Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got different dimension, sweet as strawberry wine, as well as Mary Ann Nails XXL6. We are starting off with my manicure with sweet as strawberry wine. And that's stunning. And I'm telling you, the camera does it no justice. Ooh, well maybe it does. Look at that middle fingernail. Oh, uh, so this is one that I picked up after the polish and Beauty Expo. Um, this was another table that I didn't make it to. Um, this was an online exclusive polish and sweet as strawberry wine had to come home with me. Had to be ordered, had to get here. Look how pretty. One coat. But here we go with our second coat because you guys know this is how I work. And we're going to go in and get the second coat on here. Love how smooth and easy this polish is going on. I am going to top it with INMs out the door. I'm going to get this one to dry down. That's, you know, how we do it. Get our little fast top coat, fast dry top coat on so we can get it dry down real quick. Sorry, I'm out of frame habits. And here's a swatch photo of it on its own. And this is Marianne Nails XXL6. It's a huge plate. And we're going to be using the Maniology own, no, straight up black. Sorry. And Maniology's Liquid Sunshine. I've got out my scraper from H. La, Cors H. La Corsadora. And um, I don't know what stamper I'm using. Probably my monocle stamper. So here we go. Yep, monocle stamper it is. I'm going to use a little piece of tape to get this excess off of the stamper. And we're going to apply this to the nail. I'm going to try to line it up. Try to get it on there as even and lined up as possible. I'm not really great at that. But there we go. We got it pretty good. Clean that stamper off on my lint roller. And we're going to clean the plate off with pure acetone. And we're double stamping today. So here we go with the liquid sunshine. I'm going to pick that up. Do the same thing. Get that excess up off the stamper. And then flip that rascal over. And we're going to have to really work at lining it up this time. For some double stamping. Steady as she goes. There we go. Pretty good. I'm liking how good that turned out. All right, and I'm going to do some little side images. Let me use this one, and there's a reversed image over on the other side of the plate, you know, on the other side of that skull, and um, so we're going to do the same technique with the double stamping, and I know y'all are going to be surprised, but I am going to quit at three nails today. Oh, come on, camera, act right. And again, here we go with the liquid sunshine. And I really did like how this turned out. You know, some manner, some manicures of mine, I'm just, eh, and some I'm over the top with. And this one, I really did like it. I'm practicing on that getting things kind of lined up, but a little off-centered so that you see both colors, kind of like shadowing. And here we go with the other image for the other nail. So it's just flipped from that last one. And I really like that. I like, I like it when plates have images that you can do like this. Cleaning that little stamper up. Alrighty, here we go. Fingers all up in the way. Trying to get it lined up. And there we go. <laughs> Ooh wee. Alright, got to clean that plate off again. And... Pop in here with that second color. And I'm trying to make quick work of this one. Just make it, you know, come together. Bring it all together. And trying to line this up. And there we go. Alrighty. So I'm going to clean this area up where I was stamping with a uh, bunch of acetone <laughs> on my cotton ball. And then I'm wiping it with a paper towel to get, 
get that kind of foggy look off of the plate. <clears throat> I'm going to hop in with a piece of tape and get this excess up off of my skin. I only have to do it on that one nail because the rest of them fit. And then we're going to jump in here with a little bit of acetone and just make sure that I've got it cleaned up well. Looky, looky. Let's see. Nope. All looking pretty good. And then I'm going to top this one with the Smudge Free Top Coat from Maniology. This is going to help seal in that stamp design without smearing it. And it also kind of brings it to life. I want you to watch watch for this next one. See, it's kind of looking dull. And you put that top coat on it and brightens it all up. It's like magic. Okay, once that is totally dry, I'll be using my posh top coat. And this will be the final step for this manicure today. I'll seal it all in. Oh, glossy, glossy. Capping my free edge for sure. And there we go. I am going to put the posh top coat on these other nails as well. On my thumb and pointer and, you know, get them all, all of them looking the same. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.